I'll just show you lots of different colors today. Hey, Billy. Hey, buddy. Hey, Billy. How's it going? So we've got burn umber. This is th regular phthalo green, not phthalo green, yellow shade or emer emerald green, ivory black, Prussian blue, phthalo blue, titanium white, Hansa yellow, and naphthol red. Lots of different colors today. <laughs> so we're gonna, yeah, we're just gonna get into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is take some magic white and dip my fan brush in there. We're gonna we're gonna try to make some some early stars before we do anything else. I haven't done one of these before so I'm sorry if it comes out terribly but we'll just start by throwing some stars in here. And to do that I just use a um, fan brush and palette knife. You can use your finger, but I don't like touching my paint, so that's why I'm using this. And I don't want it down there, but it's going to get there anyway, so I'm not super concerned about it. I just want it all over. <laughs> there we go. There's the paintings done. We're finished. <laughs> just kidding. That's just the background. And I put those in because it's harder for me to put them in afterwards because they just they go everywhere. You can't really control it. But at least now I can like cover this with black, or I could actually I could just wipe this all off. Won't hurt anything. And I think I said already, but there's just uh, there's linseed oil all over this, so it's really slick. Already slick and ready to go, as they say. All right. The next thing. Now that we've got the background in, and this is all, I put the gesso on myself, so if it's not super even, that's why I don't buy the uh, pre, pre, what is it, pre-tuned canvases, the ones that they already prepare black or white. And then I put some Prussian blue over here, and then there's phthalo green in the middle, and I'll explain why as we go along. Uh, but first I'm going to try and fill out this outer outer ring I put in here. And this would be the atmosphere of this planet. That's what I'm trying to paint right now. And the tape I'm going to peel off at the end, so don't, don't worry about the tape yet. Nothing to worry about here. Alright, and then let's start pulling. Pull back. I do have this white in there, but it's so it's so weak that you can't really see it anyway, so it's not something I worry about. Prussian blue is really strong, that's why I kind of put it in there. It'll cover up anything pretty much. You can also use cutouts for this. You, if you want, you can use cutouts for things. It helps when you're doing circles because the cutouts you can actually do with a compass or something first. That doesn't even look too bad. Not a perfect sphere, but good enough for what I'm trying to do. I'm just kind of pulling in the shape of a curve. We're trying to do a curve. Just a little bit more up at the top, so it's a little even. It already looks kind of like a planet there. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. <laughs> so there's one, one planet, one and done. All right. And I think I put some sienna up here, but I'm just gonna rub this around. Yeah. Okay. I don't really know where I want the sun to be, but. Maybe it's over here somewhere. We'll have some dirty looking planets over here. There we go. Just trying to get all the magic white off. 
before I get too far. And if you are trying to do these, it is. It definitely is easier with a cutout. But I'll start with just just winging it today. All right, let's add in some more brown. Try and make it look like there's something on the planet, so it's not just a bear, bear ball. Looks kind of like a planet. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, a little oblong here at the bottom. I think that's okay. Maybe a moon or something. Who knows? I'm actually gonna wipe this fan brush off real quick. I'm using regular oil paints today. I don't know if I said that, but that's what I'm using. All right. Regular fan brush, regular oil paints. It's kind of cloudy where I am. I don't know about other folks, but we had that uh, hurricane come through and it messed up a bunch of stuff. So was, that's why I'm a little late. I was cleaning up some branches that had fell down. All right, so this is uh, just titanium white here in the fan brush. And I think I had said I put a a line of phthalo green in here, and that's what this is going to be. We're doing a ring, ring planet, because that's the one that uh, <laughs> the tape's coming off. That's what I was flying into when I was playing this game. Just a big old ring out in front. Trying to remember where I put all the magic or the salo green. Some might be up here. I won't be able to see this because I'm going to be putting a, a beam up there here in a bit. But yeah, that's all we're doing here, making the rings. Flying over some rings. There we go. How's that? Is that okay? There we go. All right, that's all the hard stuff. Hard stuff's out of the way. And we could actually pull this. I don't know. Maybe we actually want to even this out. Let's even it out. It, I just want it to... I want it to look like the ship's flying right in the middle of this. And right now it looks like it's flying to the left of it. Whoops, that's Prussian blue. Get some phthalo green again. And we want it, maybe we're going to go all the way in here. So we'll fill all this in. And then even more so it comes down <laughs> in front of the beam like that. We fix it as we go. This might be fun. This is actually pretty fun to paint. <laughs> Very different from the landscapes that I normally do. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, that part's filled in. Now we gotta make it fling out in front here. Let's see how we do this. We're on the tape, so it doesn't matter. Ooh, there we go. Now I pull this off, it's gonna look like you're flying right through it. <laughs> there we go. That was pretty cool. Something like that. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Somebody tuning in. They have no idea what I'm doing there. Or maybe they do. 
It looks kind of interstellar light. All right, let's take the tape off. Then we can start doing the cockpit. Let's see. I stuck it down too good up on this side. This part all comes off. <laughs> Here we go. Just set that down. Here. Tape tends to get stuck on the uh, trash can. All right, wipe this two and a half inch brush off real quick. It's got phthalo green on it. I'm gonna throw, uh, what do we wanna put up here? Ivory black, I think that's what I wanted to do. It's not too important because it's already got the black gesso on here. Just gotta make sure you don't go outside the line. That's the key. And then all this down here I'm just going to fill in with maybe ivory black and some Prussian blue. That might be okay. Maybe a little phthalo blue in there. Give it a cool, cool vibe. Cool color. I'm just going to shake it on the bottom there. Add some more of that. Some more of these colors here. Oh, that's emerald green. Oh, well, I don't think it matters that much here. We're just trying to get paint on the canvas at this point. All right, that part's good, that part's good. Make sure we get it over there. Just fill this in. Left, right, a little bit there. And I think we gotta do this left beam, which I left out unintentionally. We'll see how this goes. Kinda hard to see here. I feel like I need another light. I don't know. I'll think about that later. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. If anyone's wondering, my ship's name in this game is Sotoko's Future. So I think I'll probably name this painting that. All right, now we get to start adding in some fun stuff. So we're just going to do some beams here. I'm just throwing in some color first and then I'll fix it up. There's some there. Make sure I don't go too far over here. Just gives it some dimension. Come across the dash. Come across over here. It might be a little dark in there too. Hopefully not too bad. There we go. There's the uh, outline. Try and pull this back, make it more three dimensional here. Same over here. There we go. Something like this. And then we can do the same here, maybe in the middle. Just go all the way around. And some up there. Here we go. There's the outline of the, the beams on the cockpit. Now, what else would we want to add in here? We need some joysticks. <laughs> we got two joysticks on here. Might be able to do these with the palette knife. We'll see. Let's try There's some ivory black in here. I think this one is a horizontal forward and backwards. So it's going to be like this. We're going to have two beams and then a line down the middle, but it's gonna be more at an angle. As you pull it, pull it that way. And then we'll have another one. This is the regular joystick. It's gonna be right here. This one can be a little bigger. And the top of it's kind of round because you gotta put your palm on it. I might actually do this one with the, uh, 
I might grab the filbert brush and do that one, but for now this is okay. And maybe it comes plugs into something, comes down like that. And then we'll just add buttons and whatnot around the rest of it, really. Not too much to this. There's going to be a stick on this one, too. I'll fill that in later. Yeah, so the way it looks in the in the game, at least, you pull this one, you push forward and backwards, and this one you're kind of holding like that. So that's what we got going on here, in case anybody was wondering. I feel like the camera fell over a little bit. I wonder if I can move it more this way. I don't think I can. My tripod's kind of tilted over. Let's get the old filbert. I think that's why I said I was going to use the old filbert brush. Let's grab that. A little bit left over the black. We'll make this one more round. You can't really see it yet because it's uh, all <laughs> all black. So. We'll get it here in a few, a few seconds. Once I start highlighting stuff. There we go. Okay. Yeah, now I can start highlighting things. Make them stand out. So this one's going to be round. Round on that side. Not much there. And then the middle is going to have some highlight on one of the sides. And I gotta darken the top just a little bit. Just a little bit. Here in the middle. Do the same on the other one. This one looks a little bit too small here, but that's okay. We can fix all this later. Post. down a little bit, give it some shape. There we go. Now what do we want to do? We want to add buttons and stuff? Yeah, I guess we can. We got all this paint here. Lots of white. I'm going to do a bunch of different colors of buttons and stuff, so these are just going to be different globs. Each one's going to be a different color. Alright, so let's do some, let's do phthalo blue first. Start adding buttons here. One here, maybe a small vertical one, a few there, maybe there's one over here. All right, that's enough of that blue. We'll do, mm, let's see, we want a green one. We can add some yellow to this. Hopefully, that's green. Looks green to me. <laughs> Might not be, but we'll add a green one here, line there, line there. I don't know. There's a well, we can put a dashboard here in the middle, like the speed or something on it. I think that's okay. And then let's see. Red, maybe? Red and white. This will be like a pink color, maybe. Throw this right here. Maybe he's got some lines here. And then another one. Maybe a box over here. I don't know. We can throw whatever we want. And then this off real quick and do a straight straight yellow here. Rinse it off. Alright. Straight yellow. I don't I did put some color down here, but hopefully it doesn't mess it up too bad. Yeah, we got some yellow there. And this I want to make more yellow, more bright. There we go. Maybe we'll have a, another, <laughs> another yellow blob. 
lava over here. And then, yeah, I don't know. I think that's okay for there. Could straighten this out a little bit more on the bottom, but. I think that's good enough for now. What else do we need? We need anything else? I feel like there's some empty space over here that we could fill in with stuff. Or maybe not, maybe it's just empty space. Sometimes that's okay. It's okay to have empty space. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know if I want to put anything over there. It's also kind of hard to see. Black canvases have a nice glare on them. At least when you're painting them. Let's see. I could add some beams or something in here. There's one down here. Comes down that way. Same over here. And then we'll blend it out. I still have leftovers from that hurricane. That was a nasty one. It was not fun. Friday and Saturday. There we go. Let's just fill that out. Same over here. There we go. I don't know, should we add anything else? <laughs> Does anybody have any ideas? I feel like this is good enough for now. Maybe add some little details here and there with the script liner. But other than that, I can't really think anything. Except maybe outlining this a bit. And blending it here at the end. Script liner and bent a little bit there at the end. We can fix that though. Easy enough. There we go. Pull that down a little bit more, maybe. Just a little bit and look at things. Hope these blended out just a little bit more. They're a little too, too fuzzy. All right, and then in the middle. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll put my signature in the middle. Just to mess with people. I wouldn't do that. I'm gonna put it down the bottom left. But I can put the speed up there. Could be some gibberish too, I don't know. They do KPHs maybe. Use 
the bottom of the canvas here to steady my hand. Oh, that's like five, five twenty-eight thousand kph. There we go. All right, now I'll put my signature on it. Down here in the left. This was a kind of interesting one. Space themed. I don't do many space themes. Paintings. I think this is my first real one that I've done. I just had a bunch of them pop up on my feed. Billy suggested it last week, so I figured I'd give it a shot. First space theme on the live stream. Came out pretty good. It's kind of shiny because of the uh, all the linseed oil on it, but came out pretty good.